Our unsettled weather has made for some curious cloud formations in the sky. Yeah, one of those clouds had some worried that there had been an explosion out there, but there was no blast. But the question does remain, what kind of a cloud was it? StormTrack 15 meteorologist Michael Crowley has the answer in tonight's Good Question. Many of you have been wondering what appeared in the sky just a few days ago in Lafayette. Now it looks like it may be an explosion or maybe even a mushroom cloud, but I'm going to go ahead and put that to rest. This is not anything, anything to do with war or any explosion, something like that. Instead, it's just a collapsing thunderstorm. It's a very odd shape, something you don't usually see up in the sky. We're going to break down the pieces of this and when this actually occurs. So here's the classic anvil of a cumulonimbus or a thunderstorm at its full potential. And it's a little bit of a fragment of what it used to be. Here's that rain shaft, very not impressive down towards the surface. And that's because it's nearing the end of its life cycle. Here are the three stages of thunderstorm development. So at the very beginning, we have something called a towering cumulus. We all know cumulus clouds are those happy little puffy clouds out in the sky. Usually means very fair weather. But if we get a little bit more disturbance, those start to tower up, aka the towering cumulus, forming into the mature storms, a cumulonimbus cloud, a thunderstorm, as we all know. But after that, once that storm tears itself apart with that updraft, instead the downdraft starts to win that battle, and now it's starting to collapse. It evaporates everything below it. This is exactly what the other picture looks like. I'm actually going to pull up that picture once again. You see the anvil, and the bottom portion is completely gone. And right here you have the anvil, and it's completely gone below that. So that storm used to be quite strong. This was actually down near Pecan Island, Intracoastal City area. Very impressive storm, but once we actually see the anvil is the only thing left of that cloud, usually means that we're getting to the end of the day and it's starting to weaken. Now, if you want to see any good questions of your own answered here on News 15, scan this QR code that you're seeing on your screen. You can send me pictures too. I can explain it just like this one. You can send them over to mcrowley at kadn.com. You can send me all the good questions that you have for me. I'll answer them right here on News 15. I'm Stormtrack 15, meteorologist Michael Crowley, and I can't wait to hear from you.